Wouldn't it be cool to have a standby water source in our solar system? Well, just when the Earth was on the verge of ever-prevailing drought, scientists at NASA announced that they have found the strongest signs of liquid water presence on the planet closest to Earth. For decades, all the research conducted to substantiate the possibility of life on Mars has always come out negative. As per those outcomes, the low oxygen content and the disappearance of liquid water have made the planet dry and rocky, and so incapable of sustaining life. However, fascinatingly, all those studies that had negated the idea of life on Mars have always projected that this land was once as habitable as Earth, but it has been dry as a desert for more than a billion years. Now. What if I tell you that those outcomes were only partially true? What if I tell you that Mars is not as dead as it seems to be? NASA has found flowing water under the surface of Mars, and it predicts something that scientists have never imagined about the planet. So let's dive in to see how liquid can be present at low temperatures on Mars and why scientists believe that Mars is still alive. In comparison to the Earth's evil sister Venus, which has always been far too toxic and harmful for humans, Mars was, comparatively, in a lot of ways, much safer and more welcoming. This wasn't because the planet was close to Earth or has a similar outer look, but because the areography and environment of both planets were somehow comparable. Moreover, Mars is built up of similar compounds in some dissimilar composition to Earth. It has an abundance of elements like sulfur, magnesium, iron, and calcium, and has layers of gases like carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and nitrogen. So when Elon Musk shared his idea of colonizing Mars, the astrophile literally went bulls over the planet's research and livability. So the real question is, are these assumptions true? Well, no they're not. Being similar to Earth does not necessarily make the planet habitable or safe to live on. There are a lot of factors that contribute to the Earth's environment which are technically missing on Mars. To give you a clear picture, Mars is basically a barren land, a land filled with red dust, dry lands, and rocks. The planet consists of a thin, low-gravity environment with an extremely high carbon dioxide content, which is lethal for life. Not only that, the temperature on Martian lands is so cold that you might freeze to death in just a few hours there. Nonetheless, Mars wasn't always like that. Studies on Martian lands have time and again shown signs of ancient water presence. Around three billion years ago, Mars was exactly like Earth. There were flowing rivers, streams, and lakes on the surface of the planet. And wherever there are organic compounds and water, there are significant chances of life sustenance. And this gave scientists the push to discover the planet for liquid water even more. Now, what did all this mean? According to researchers, the thing that affects livability the most is the presence of water. A human body consists of 70% water and 96% of our entire planet is submerged in water. So what this meant was, if scientists could find or activate water sources on the planet, there are chances that the planet might get alive again. This year in January, NASA revealed that they have found liquid water trapped inside the surface of the Martian lands. Before this discovery was made, scientists believed that water was once present on Martian lands, but due to the change in magnetic fields, the planet lost all of its water content. However, there was another theory given by various researchers that opposed the idea later on. Dr. Brienne Horgan and Paul Byrne, who was associated with planetary sciences, suggested that around 30 to 99% of the water content of the planet is still trapped somewhere inside the surface of Mars. And as per Ava Scheller's study, a billion years ago, when the atmosphere of Mars collapsed, water molecules that were made up of hydrogen and oxygen broke into free molecules of H2 and O. So, when the distortion happened, the broken water molecules had to go somewhere. So the hydrogen radicals, due to their light weight, went out into outer space. Whereas oxygen and deuterium, which is the heavy form of hydrogen, were left behind to sink inside the surface of the planet. But neither of these theories was definite. 
To confirm these theories, NASA sent many of its rovers to the planet to find signs and signals of water. And that's how the intriguing discovery was made. From the earlier missions on Mars, scientists predicted that Mars was once a planet with an abundance of water. The planet is still filled with carvings of streams, lake beds, and terrains, and the type of carving found could only be created by flowing water on a planet. Scientists were skeptical about the carving and lake beds and sent rovers to study the lands of those lake beds. In 2012, NASA sent a rover named Curiosity to the Martian lands to get the residues of lakes back to Earth. The rover landed on a lake bed named Gale Crater to extract sediments, rocks, and stone present on the surface of the planet. When NASA tested the samples of the Curiosity rover, they found extracts rich in compounds like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus, which were all the compounds that supports human life. After this, in 2021, NASA sent an Ingenuity rover to Martian lands. Ingenuity was a rover equipped with drills and test tubes that were essential for sample extractions. The rover landed on Jezero Crater, a lake bed present on Mars with a 28-mile-long surface area. Scientists believe that Jezero was the largest lake bed present on the surface of Mars. This rover, till now, has collected samples like sandstones, muddy rocks, and other earthy particles that are rich in many significant organic compounds. But none of these discoveries could predict the presence of liquid water on the lands that could support the trapped water theory. But in 2018, the orbiters that were exploring and carefully monitoring the changes happening on the Martian lands caught something strange. The express orbiter that was orbiting the planet and sending back the data to ESA noticed a weird and gradual change in the ice caps of the southern ice pole of Mars. Before this sign, scientists believe that the Martian core has completely been dead for years. And even if some amounts of water were left behind, the extremely low temperatures on the planet would have frozen it ages ago. However, what the express orbiter saw completely changed scientists' views on the Martian core. The orbiter, during its orbit, noticed that the height of Mars' ice caps keeps changing throughout the year. This could mean that the increasing temperature during Martian summers is affecting or melting the liquid cap, and water must be present inside the surface. To explain the changing heights of ice caps, the Mars Global Surveyor satellites were moved closer to the planet to study the environment and get the topographic data of the planet. These surveyors were highly sensitive and had a much superior laser altimeter, which was necessary to map the outer surface of the planet. The device, after mapping the changes on the planets, revealed that what the express orbiter caught was right. The sensitive equipment detected the flowing water waves and movement under the frozen layers of Mars. It discovered reflections that are formed when water waves move from one place to another. But how could it be possible? How could water be present at such low temperatures? Scientists, after mapping the movement of ice caps and confirming the subsurface water movement, gave out a possibility that made the most sense to scientists and astrophiles all over the world. They predicted that under such gravitational forces and environment, Martian lands can only have flowing water inside if its core is still active and hot. For liquid water to exist on the planet, there needs to be some geothermal activity inside the surface of the planet to keep the water from freezing. However, there are still no other signs of an active core present as there are literally no volcanoes, hot streams, or geysers on the planet. In light of this, a group of astronomers from Cornell University ran similar simulations on Earth. The simulative experiment to understand the ice cap movement was conducted under the same environment and climatic conditions as that of Mars. Dan Lilac, the researcher, in his journal published on the 26th of September 2022, says that, quote, I used CO2 layers embedded within the water ice because we know it already exists in large quantities near the surface of the ice cap. To summarize his research, Lilag added, We have shown that it is possible to create bright reflections without liquid water, but none of the work we've done disproves the possible existence of liquid water down there. 
So is Mars actually habitable? Does it actually have water down there? Well, only time can tell. Neither the researchers nor the space institutions have confirmed the presence of liquid water on Mars, but the recent studies have somewhat gotten us closer to finding new information about our second favorite planet in the universe. Let's wait and see what the following research on the planet reveals.